what is it that you are spending your money on? Let me tell you this, whatever it is you decide to spend your money on, that is the financial path that you are choosing for yourself. And although spending money each and every day may not catch up to you, especially if you're young, you may not quite understand the consequences of your actions quite yet. But I want to talk to you all today about money and how I believe it should be spent. Don't need that. I think that we as smart individuals should be spending our money on things that are assets to us. If you don't know what an asset is, an asset is something that can put money into your pocket, okay? And this can, for me, literally mean something like a house that you own and you're renting out and it's putting money in your bank account, in your pocket. It could mean something like a nice $20 shirt that I bought from Burlington that is going to make me come off more appealing. So, instead of spending your extra money, if you're buying a Starbucks every morning, it's like four or five dollars a day. That's like $110 or something like that, every single month, and then times 12, and so on and so forth. You get my point. It doesn't really have any use to it besides making you feel good in that moment, making you fit in with your peers, yeah, basically making you socially acceptable. You know how the saying goes, dress for the job that you want, not for the job that you have. So if you just think about the, the progression moving forward, you know, every time you go buy a new t-shirt or every time you go buy new shoes, instead of spending $100, you could literally go to Burlington, get a badass tuxedo and make you come off completely different to people instead of buying those shoes that are only gonna last you about a year. Tuxedos aren't gonna be used every single day like shoes, and if you already have two or three pairs of shoes, don't be greedy, be smart, okay? You need to be smart about the money moves that you're making. Put it into cryptocurrencies, or even if you just put it aside, that money that you were just about to go spend, you put it aside, and you keep doing that. And then you take that money, and you use it for an experience at least. Something more valuable. The difference between average and successful people is how successful people choose to use their free time wisely and productively at all points of the day. And average people will slack off, relax, and daydream. The same can be said for the small decisions with money. See, everyone agrees that if they had a million bucks in their bank account, they would do this and they would do that and they would have all this money. But that's not what makes the difference here. It's the small transactions that adds up that then eventually creates that person to have financial freedom. Because these wealthy people are being very smart. I wouldn't say frugal, I wouldn't say cheap. They're being smart with their money because there needs to be a certain point in life where money starts to work for you instead of you working for money. Because if that certain point doesn't come, you're going to be much older in life, and you're going to be very tired, you're going to be very aggravated, and you're going to be very upset with the younger you for not biting the bullet and doing what needs to be done. The two most important resources. If you're able to control your time, good for you. Then you're going to be happier. If you're able to control your money, then you're going to have more time. So, if you can learn how to control your money, then you'll be given more time. And with that time, you can prove your worthiness. If you prove your worthiness enough times in a row within that time span, then eventually life will reward you with fruition and growth and knowledge and love and prosperity. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. It's about to start raining on me, so I'm gonna go on and get me and my dog inside the house. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, and make sure you comment down below. I always comment back to every single person who takes the time and attention to comment on my videos. So peace and love, manifest the best, stay blessed, and I'll see y'all on the next video.